Hello, welcome back to Mrs. Always Right channel. Hello, hello. Good evening in UK. Hello. Um, let me check my focus. It's a bit. Let me see if it's. Sorry about that. I just want to put my camera in the nice position. So, good evening once again. And welcome back to Mrs. Always Right channel. So, it's been a very wonderful week for me. Today is Thursday, so Mrs. Always Right was having a day off and I have really, really enjoyed my two days annual leave, which I always take it like that at unexpected. I just put it up and enjoy my annual leave. So. I am so happy. Let me put my flower on. <laughs> so it's been very, be uh, how would I call it, a busy week for me, doing a lot of things, both home and at workplace. So I'm so happy that I had a bit of time to rest and enjoy myself. And let me introduce my channel again. So welcome back to Mrs. Always right and Mr. Always right channel, and this channel is always appreciative to our viewers and our and our. Let me put my volume on. Let me see. Sorry, my mic was off. So this channel is dedicated to. God, very thankful to God in everything we do. So I am here, first of all, to say a very big thank you to God. I think my shadow is coming in as well, my God. So I don't know if this, if, uh, if something is clearer now. So this light is in the way somehow. So I always say thank you, God, first in my channel. So I'm just putting that slide in there. So it's going to make a lot of so I just say thank you God first of all because with God everything is possible and all what we're looking for in our life is all provided by God is the ultimate and he is the provider so he provides for us and he cares for us and he takes care of our need and he doesn't look about what we have done wrong in our life. God is always there for us. So, so that is why I have to say thank you, God, first, because with God, everything is possible and easy. So, I also appreciate my subscribers in this channel. You've done so much to keep us going. Thank you for subscribing and thank you for following us. Thank you for watching our videos. So today I'm just going to talk about how we should focus on the blessings of God. This is how we should be doing. So because God is a problem solver and this and it is the solution to all our troubles. That is how God works in our life. He's a problem solver and a solution to all our problems. So that is the meaning of God because He cares for us. So He has everything in His in His uh, hand for Him to take care of. So we are part of it. He takes care of us in all our in our endeavors God is always there to take care of us so he doesn't give up give up on us so so we have to focus on God's blessing and allow ourselves to recognize that he is evidence in our lives we often focus on what is going wrong rather than what is going right so 
I just have to readjust this camera. I'm sorry, we have to make it higher a bit. So sorry about that. I'm making. Okay, that is better. So we have to focus on what is going on right rather than what is going on wrong. So in this life, we have to be positive in the way we take things because it is all our mindset that things can be very very critical it depends on how you respond and react to situation in life that makes it worse so we often let us not get caught up in our trials how about us getting caught up in in thought of all our triumphs so being negative will wear us down we wear you down into a pit of depression so you can understand everybody think differently somebody can be so stressed about small things where some people can cope but some people can cope with those things but inside them they are feeling it they pretend in the outside that everything is okay but inside they are not feeling well so they max it up they bottle it in and it becomes it becomes a problem in their life and it becomes like a depression or stress and they will stuck into such situation because of fear of talking it out and seeking for help so being negative also will slow us down in our goals in life in our success in our career because of fear of uncertainty something we cannot we, we don't see we start getting panicking and fearful so understand worrying does not fix our problem so it, it affects our mental health and well-being, physical well-being as well. So when we understand and digest the thought that God is mindful of what we are going through, then we will understand that he will bring us through so we shall wait in peace for our breakthrough. So when God is ready to help you, he's going to put all effort to take you out from that wrong and negative thought. Because once you develop negative thoughts, it leads to failure in what you want to achieve in life. So we have to think a bit positively. And then we can see the changes in our situation i know it's not easy for you to go through a lot of things in life hardship worries people helping to make it worse for you by constantly putting it up some people make up a lot of story to get other people into problem and then they feel happy once they make other people upset there are some people like that and when they see people that are happy in life they will start to become very anxious and nervous because they are not happy about other people being happy they enjoy to make other people cry or make other people sad so that is the motives behind people who keeps on complaining or looking for other people to be in problem because their mind is always going out to make sure people are having problems so once they sit down and see that other people are having problems it becomes very they become very proud and feel good about it so we shouldn't do that to other people you got to be genuine in your own way of living we can't just be like drama king or queen causing problem and sweating to see other people reacting and suffering because of what we have put 
been true. So, so when we all we are we all have waited in the waiting room of a doctor's office. We wait to be seen by a practitioner, practicing physician. So, do you read the key word practicing? In that aspect, no. When you are waiting in the waiting room of it, of God, we wait for a great physician as well. He is the great I am. So I don't know about you, but I think it's worth to wait. He will lead and guide us and direct us to receive our breakthrough. So don't allow distractions of life to keep you from following the guidance and stay sensitive to the small voice within you. So that is how it is when we are with God. God is always there for us. So, so in this world as well, we, when we are thinking that we're trying to cause trouble, but we should also develop a habit of giving your friend support as well. When you see somebody having a rough time, a rough day, and their emotions have been feeling critically hard on themselves. So try telling them not to be putting themselves because you see greatness in them. Try to support them. Tell them you care about them and be an encourager. Don't stay behind their back and mock on, on them and even pretend to be helping. Then by the time they think that you are helping them, you are the one that is making them uncomfortable. So next time you're having a challenging day as well, walk, pause, and tell yourself you are an overcomer. Tell yourself God has a plan and a purpose for you. Focus on how you are doing better than you realize. Acknowledge the fact that you are not alone going through your trial, but God is walking you through it. With God on our side, on your side, nothing can be against us. So remember God's word says he will never leave us or forsake us. So be blessed and thank you for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and please press the notification button on when we put our videos we can also you can also follow and also this channel appreciate all our subscribers and thank you thank you god bless everybody and bye